Well, hello YouTube, and welcome to my first video on the topic of handguns. The reason I'm doing this video is um, I just received my pistol permit back in March of this year, and I had applied for it last October. It's something I always wanted to get, but here in my state, the requirements for a, uh, for a pistol permit are so stringent that I tried several times over the years, and uh, because the requirements are so strict, I just put it off so many times and never got around to doing it. But last October, I just said to myself, I'm going to do this thing now, and I'm going to see it through. And um, as I said, I just received it two months ago. And shortly after receiving the permit, this is what I purchased. As you can plainly see, it's a Smith & Wesson. And I bought the Model 686 Plus with a three inch barrel. Now I know what you're, you're all saying out there, the last thing that the gun community needs is another video on the Smith & Wesson 686, but if you'll just indulge me for a few minutes, um, I'd like to share in my excitement of getting my first gun and uh, you know, display it in front of you today. Now let me just uh, do a quick safety check before we do anything else. As you can see, the chambers are all empty, so I will be handling a safe gun in this video. Now, the gun did come with um, the standard rubber grips that Smith & Wesson supplies. And they're really nice grips. They're very well made. And uh, you do get a bit better gription with rubber than you do wood, but... I always wanted wood grips. I set out when I first bought this gun saying that eventually I'm going to um, change them to wood, to wood grips. And after all, that looks so much prettier. Now let me also quickly, more on the grips a little later, but let me quickly uh, go through all the enclosures that come with the, with the gun. Of course you get the, uh, the security lock keys. You get the security padlock, you get the warranty card, of course, you get the paraphernalia on the NRA, and by the way, folks, if you haven't already done so, please join the NRA. They're great people doing wonderful things to secure our Second Amendment rights, and especially this year in an, in an election year, it's that much more important that these folks receive the needed funds to continue to do that valuable work for us. And, of course, you get the instruction manual on the gun. So let me just let me get the case out of the way and see if I can prop, prop this thing up so you can see it a little better. And I'm going to try and zoom in, too. Now, as I mentioned, I changed the uh, grips to wood grips, and these grips are made by a company by the name of Altamont. I think they're located in Illinois, and Altamont is the company that makes the aftermarket grips for Smith & Wesson that you see on the Smith & Wesson website. And because of this partnership they have with Smith, what Smith does is supply Altamont with these medallions of the Smith & Wesson logo. And I'm going to try and zoom in on so that you can so you can see it. And what they do is they inlay these in the top portion of the grip, as you can see. Now, to my understanding, they're the only company that that does this because of this partnership they have with Smith. And it's not an important thing, but it's a small little detail that um, makes these grips sets them apart a little bit from the others and makes them a little bit more attractive. And when I saw it, they caught my eye, and that's another added reason why I, why I bought these. And I bought the, uh, I purchased the rosewood color, and I also got the boot, the boot grip. And the reason I did that was, I originally set out by uh, wanting the combat size grip, but I saw a video that Hickok 45 put out on this very same gun, the 686 3 inch barrel, where he talks about symmetry when matching grips with a gun. And what he means by that is on the smaller barrel guns like the two and a half inch and the three inch, 
um, he likes a smaller grip, a boot style grip, because it's more symmetrical, because of the short barrel. And watching this video, I got to thinking how right he was. And from watching that video, I actually changed my mind and ended up buying the boot grip. And I'm very happy with them. They're very comfortable. They're a little bit shorter. And I'll admit, my pinky does tend to dangle a little bit off the grip. But it doesn't bother me one bit. Um, the grips, I, I don't give up any shooting accuracy with these grips than I did with the, with the rubber grips. And um, I'm very happy with them aesthetically. As you can see, they're really, they actually transform the gun. When I put these on after taking the rubber ones off, it looked like a different gun. And I'm very, very happy with them. Now, I bought them from a company, a website company called gripsupply.com. And I'll put their link in the description of this video. And I dealt with a woman over there by the name of Tina. She was terrific. She was very helpful in uh, finding me what I wanted and getting them to me as quickly as she could. And uh, as a result, I would highly recommend them to anybody out there that's looking for grips. And they sell grips for Smiths, for Colts, for all different manufacturers. But um, the gun itself is fabulous. I've shot about 700 rounds through it already without a problem, What's no problems whatsoever. Of course, there's not much that can go wrong on a revolver anyway. And the reason I went with a revolver as my first gun is I'm a person that uh, grew up in the 1960s, and as a boy, I watched a lot of detective TV shows and movies and westerns on TV, and everything in those movies and TV shows was, was revolvers, and usually short barrel revolvers when it came to like detective movies and such. And um, I just, I, I guess I just had, always had an affinity for revolvers, and, uh, and I always wanted a revolver as my first gun. So, I mean, I, I love semi-automatics. My next gun, will, I'm sure, will be a semi-automatic. In fact, I'm getting the itch already to, to purchase something else. And I'm looking at several uh, manufacturers of semi-automatics, particularly 1911s. I'm sure I'll be uh, purchasing one in the not-too-distant future. But for now, I'm having a lot of fun with this gun. I'm really enjoying it. I'm very happy with my purchase. And uh, just to keep this short and closing, I just want to say that uh, I'll ho hopefully I'll be making some more videos down the road on uh, guns and uh, shooting topics. And um, I'm continuing to enjoy all the videos that you folks are, are producing out there. And uh, in closing, I'll just say... Shoot often and shoot safe.